You've probably used ChatGPT. I mean, who hasn't? It feels like free magic. But have you ever stopped and wondered how this thing, used by millions for free, is somehow on track to make billions of dollars? Well, let's get into it. Because that's the real mystery here, right? You've got this AI that's everywhere, but running it costs an absolute fortune. So where is all that money actually coming from? First, let's just wrap our heads around the scale. We are talking about 700 million people every single week. That's not just a big audience. It's a civilization-level audience. But an audience that big comes with a bill to match. To keep those servers humming and the AI thinking, OpenAI is projected to burn through $8 billion this year. Just gone. So how in the world do they survive, let alone build a business? Well, the answer is a surprisingly clever three-pronged strategy. They found three key ways to convince users, developers, and huge companies to open up their wallets. And here's the part that might surprise you. That giant slice of the pie, almost three quarters of their entire revenue, it comes from regular people like you and me paying for subscriptions. The number one way is subscriptions. For about 20 bucks a month, ChatGPT Plus is basically a theme park fast pass. When everyone else is stuck in line, you get to skip ahead and use the newest, most powerful models. Second, they sell what's called API access. This is kind of like OpenAI renting out its incredible world-class AI kitchen to other companies. Those companies can then use all that power to cook up their own AI features in their own apps. And third, you've got enterprise solutions. This is the top shelf VIP treatment. For a big corporation, it's like having a Michelin star chef on retainer, giving their whole team unlimited, super secure access to the best tools. So the pattern is pretty simple, right? The free version is amazing and it gets you hooked, but the real speed, the best features, and the powerful tools, well, those are waiting for the people who pay, from individual users all the way up to giant companies. But okay, even with billions in revenue, that's not the whole story. There's another massive piece of this puzzle, a secret weapon that's keeping this whole gigantic operation running. And that secret weapon is Microsoft. They have poured a mind-blowing $13 billion into OpenAI. Now, this isn't just a friendly check. It's a deep, strategic alliance. Microsoft gets its hands on the most advanced AI on the planet, and OpenAI gets the raw cash it desperately needs to pay for all those servers. So they're making billions, they're backed by one of the richest companies in history, everything's perfect, right? They must be swimming in profits. Well, here's the big twist. Nope, not even close. Despite all that money flowing in, they are still not profitable. They are burning through cash at an absolutely staggering rate, because the cost of actually running the AI is still way, way higher than the money they're making. As one person on Reddit put it, just perfectly, the reality is, the server costs are immense. Every single time you ask ChatGPT a question, it costs them real money. And all of this leads to the ultimate question. OpenAI's entire business model isn't just a plan, it's a massive, high-stakes gamble on what the future looks like. So what could that future be? Well, the bull case is that OpenAI's wildest dreams come true, and they become a $200 billion a year company. But the bear case? Some recent data suggests that big companies might actually be slowing down their AI adoption, and that can mean serious trouble. Which leaves us with this one final thought. Is OpenAI actually building the future of technology right now? Or are we just watching the biggest, most expensive, and most exciting gamble in history play out in real time? 